Hey everybody, Unstable Gamer here, and tonight we're going to be taking a look at the Iron Man event. And uh, my hope with this video is that it will give people who have not seen Tier 5 yet an idea of what the fight is like and who I used and how I got through it. So, before we get into that, if you're just now finding my channel, consider hitting that subscribe button to stay up to date with all the videos that I have coming out. All right, let's go ahead and jump into the event. Tier 5, so that's what we're going to go over specifically in order to unlock Iron Man. We need level 50 plus, gear tier 8, level 4 abilities. So one thing that I noticed right off the bat is that the Iron Man in tier 5, the requirements for this is a lot lower than any of the other legendary events. This one should, should be quite a bit easier, but we'll see. All of my characters are at least level 50 at least level at least level eight i believe so i'll be using quake captain america black widow hawkeye and shield medic for the healer let's go ahead and jump in it All right, do I have everybody where I want them? I do not. I do want to switch these two around. And only because I like having the medic on the very end of the chain. However, if the chain starts on that side, then uh, the medic's going to be the first. But All right, so the goal of this video is really, again, to show, to show the fight and get through it. So it's more than likely going to be a fairly quick video. But my goal is, is to also update this when I hit Tier 6 and Tier 7. All right, what do we got? Tony, how nice to see you. Check it out, my very own moon base. What do you think? <laughs> Listen up, Nacho Supreme. <laughs> That's funny. All right, uh, I am going to go ahead and just times three this. I think everybody's pretty familiar with the animations. Usually, I always go for Scientist Supreme first because of her revive, so I'm going to go ahead and stick to that. Go ahead and do the taunt here. See if I can go ahead and... Yep, got the offense down there. Slow. I'm not going to worry about the AoE just yet. We've got 12 enemies total. Let's go ahead and do the blind. Get the taunt off. We took out the Scientist Supreme at the same time. So, so far so good. Pretty smooth. Let's see. I've got 10 enemies left and 4... Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and use this just to take them out. We'll see if that was a good choice or not. But I got another AoE with Iron Man, so I'm not too worried about it. Their health bars don't look very challenging at all, so I don't really think we're gonna have much of an issue here. Uh, let's go ahead. I'm gonna save the stun for right now. There we go, took that off. Who do we wanna take out? Uh, you know, I think I want to take out the Oracle over there, but I want to stun. <laughs> Look at their health bars. Their health bars are all pretty. Let's stun the tank, or take a, or take the tank out. One of the two. Get rid of the Oracle. Let's go ahead and do the AOE. There's only three enemies left. Yeah, this was pretty quick. Plus, we got Cap there, so that was a nice team up. And I'm just gonna go ahead and and run through this. Ow! Shoot! I'm sorry. <laughs> I double-clicked it. Oh, well. Give me one good reason I shouldn't quarantine you in that airlock. No, oh, no.
And there we go. There we go. Nice quick video. Tier 5 is super simple. I don't think really anybody has much to worry about in there. Especially this late in the game. So that just makes me wonder, with how low the level requirements are for Tier 5, how good Iron Man really is when you take into consideration all the new characters that are coming out. I I saw the other day on Reddit just uh, someone asking the question if if Iron Man is worth investing investing everything into. You know, and I'd, I'd ask you guys out there, those of you who have Iron Man, I mean, I know I see him a lot in in the arena. I really don't see him in Blitz much, but I do see him in, in the arena every now and then. And I'm curious for you guys out there, do you guys feel that Iron Man is, is worthy of putting all these resources into? Because right now, now that I have him, I feel like I'm a little behind the eight ball right now. Because... I just, I have, there's, there's so many other characters to start working on, right? Like right now I'm saving, I've got a, I've got 1.3 million, million gold. I'm saving up all of my ability materials for the Brotherhood. And then once that event's over, I'm not going to unlock them the first time around, but once that event's over, I'm going to be really focused on getting Nick Fury. And that's where my priorities are laying right now is the Nick, is Nick Fury and S.H.I.E.L.D. and then the uh, Magneto and the Brotherhood. So I'm not really going to be doing anything with Iron Man. I think it's fantastic that I got him. Cool. You know, it wasn't really much of a challenge, that fight. But maybe later on, we're going to see an Avengers rework. That would be really cool. As if they actually did that that rework and, and, and made them a formidable team. Because they really aren't right now. So there we go. We got him unlocked. Looks good. He's at 168. I'm not going to throw a bunch of materials and stuff into him right now. Uh, but, and I'm sure everybody's pretty much seen him. His, uh, the artwork is really good. I, I really do like the artwork in this game. The stories in this game is really cool. Alright, so, now with that done, I'm just going to show you the team, the team that I used. Alright, so, all of my characters, I used these top five right here, so 68, 66, 66, and then you have these two over here at level 60, all all five star, obviously. And then as and then as far as their abilities, tier 12, I've got all sixes and a four. Captain America is tier 12 as well, with all the purple abilities. Black Widow, she's 12. Hawkeye, I didn't really put a whole lot into, uh, especially once I really got Black Widow and Quake up there, but. There he is. He's at a tier nine with uh, all sixes. I haven't put, I haven't built up Shot in the Dark. And then uh, my level 60 Shield Medic. She's just a tier eight. So there you go, everybody. That's what I had to show you tonight. That is the tier five for Iron Man. Again, I am going to go ahead and update this with the tier six and tier seven when it comes out, just so I can have the complete guide. I typically haven't done the tier 1 through 4 only because they are fairly easy. I think the Nick Fury one is the only one that really gave me a challenge on tier 4. Tier 1, 2, and 3 was pretty easy, but I do have the whole event guide for that. I want to thank you for stopping by, taking a look at the video. If you liked the video, make sure to hit that like button. And again, if you're new to the channel, or if you've been here a number of times and you still haven't hit that subscribe button, just go, go ahead and smash it. Just, just hit that subscribe button to stay up to date with all the newest content that I have coming out. And again, if you like the video, if you like the content, make sure to let me know by hitting that like button and sharing your thoughts and questions in the comment section below. Take care, everyone, and we'll talk to you next time.